Humans have been using handprints to identify themselves for a very long time. These ones here, the hands across time, just outside Las Vegas in Red Rock, are hundreds of years old. They're some of the earliest examples of Native Americans showing their identity, kind of like a signature. In recent years, we've started to use our hands to identify us again, and Dan's been finding out how secure they might be. If there's one week of stuff in Vegas that isn't staying in Vegas, it's this week's B-Sides, Black Hat and Notorious DEF CON gatherings. So this is Scott Helm. He is not just our victim, he's also a security researcher who's here to keep Click on track with a hacker's view of the conferences for the next couple of episodes. Um, hello, Scott. Hello. What do you think? Lara Lewington battling the bad guys which is exactly what this conference, Black Hat, is all about. The corporate side of the cybersecurity conferences here in Las Vegas. People are going to equate this to Minority Report. What kind of protocols do you have in place to make sure that the data is used in ethical ways in future? We don't predict who will commit the crime. We predict where it could happen and when it could happen. We see those wind turbines there behind me. They're completely still, even though there is clearly plenty of wind right now. Well, it's not because they're broken, it's because there's no more room to store the energy they would create. And that's the problem the gravity train will solve. When you're into excess energy production, you use it to power the train up a hill, and when you want the energy back, you just send the train back down again. All of these cameras around here, are going to understand where my body is in the 3D space that we're in, and that will translate to the avatar moving. And then this camera here is going to capture my facial expressions and translate that to the avatar as well. During the next three minutes, I'm going to explain this futuristic technology using ice cream. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Because, well, why not? ICT Fire and Rescue is the first firefighting school of its kind in Kenya. I went to visit them and got to try out some training. Flair is working with the school to add as many fire trucks as possible to their Nairobi coverage, as well as locating available public and private water supplies to add to the map. I was one of a handful of journalists who got to drive a Generation 2 car for the first time on a track following the Berlin e -Prix. And let's face it, it looks too much like the Batmobile not to fall completely in love with. With the combined look and sound, it does feel a little like driving into the future. Um, right. Wow. Hi, thank you, Simmons. Um, do take a seat, Viva. Um, well, we have set a very special table here in the Click Live studio, and we've invited some very special guests to talk about future food. Uh, Simmons, be a good chap and deliver some si simple morsels to the audience. Now, we are delivering to you some raspberries to taste. Please, if you do have food allergies, do not taste them. They may not necessarily be raspberries. Like um, but if you have no food allergies, please help yourself to a sumptuous fruit and um, see what you think. So what are they eating, Viva? So they're eating 3D printed raspberry. Let's start building a raspberry. Now, this is the kind of device that one could, in the future, expect to have in one's kitchen, perhaps. Exactly. We've designed it so it's very easy to clean. It takes very little space on your counter. And you can um, load any ingredient. It can be even alcoholic. 
Oh, now that's an idea. Um, now, what are the, the nutritional implications of having 3D printed food capabilities in the kitchen at home? I mean, could we help sort of uh, solve the, the nation's obesity crisis, for example? Like, I mean, Brussels sprouts, right? Who likes Brussels sprouts? I mean, I do. But if you could make Brussels sprouts taste like chocolate cake, surely that's going to be a good thing, right? <laughs> I think nearly everything works as well, but that is yes. it for tonight. I've had a ball, you've had a ball. It's been absolutely amazing. BT17, mate. Please, can you make sure you're Katie ready Perry underneath, to please. Have you had a good time? Yeah! Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>